deeper a little bit into some of the aspects of anger that Allah mm -hmm. talks about and the way that He talks about them. And I'd like to start with um, a kind of an unusual place, uh, acknowledgement, uh, meaning Allah acknowledges that it's okay to be angry at certain occasions. When is it okay for a, a believer, a slave of Allah, to be angry? Because at the end of the day, anger is only truly justified for Allah Azza wa As a matter of fact, the word ghadab in the Qur'an uh, pretty much entirely is used only for Allah. People who drew upon themselves the anger of Allah, the ghadab of Allah. غَضِبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ فَبَاءُ بِغَضَبٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ This expression is continuously used exclusively for Allah. The only time outside of the usage for Allah you find the word ghadab used is twice, and that's for Musa alayhi salam. غَضْبَانَ asifan is occurring twice in the Qur'an. But before we go to ghadab, which is a common Arabic word for anger, and we'll dig into that a little bit more, I want to start with something else. Just a couple of words of vocabulary so you, they, they stay in your mind. Uh, even though the Qur'an uses multiple words for anger, it uses ghayd, it uses ghadab, it uses sakhat, it uses hard, it has multiple words used. I want to start with ghayd, which is probably the most important to understand because it's used even for believers, and it's also used for disbelievers, it's also used for people who don't like Muslims. Like, مُوتُوا بِغَيْضِكُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلِيمٌ بِذَاتِ الصُّدُورِ You, you, you want to have, you know, عَدُّوا uh, عَلَيْكُمُ الْأَنَامِنَ مِنَ الْغَيْضِ They bite at their fingers at how angry they are at you, how, how much they hate you, some people who hate Muslims. And Allah says, you can die that way, die in your anger. Allah knows what you have in your hearts. إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلِيمٌ بِذَاتِ الصُّدُورِ but what does this word ghayd actually signify? This is what I wanted to start with. Ghayd actually is not to let anger be shown. Ghayd in Arabic is actually something, it's used for example, Halimatun Muqtada, they used to look at this big stone pot that's cooking something, and they would call it Halimatun Muqtada, which means calm yet angry. What that means is if you look at the pot, it's not moving, it's still. It's calm, it's settled. But if you go touch it, you burn your hand. Right, so you don't really know what's going on when you look at it. But if you take a closer look, or if you looked inside, you'd see something boiling inside, right? And that's the state of people sometimes. You, on the outside, they look totally calm. Like they'll even smile at you and say, Salaamu Alaikum, how are you, etc. And inside, they hate your guts. They can't stand you, right? And they have a lot of rage inside of them. But it's not even about a hypocritical attitude. It could even be that somebody's carrying about their life very normally. They're, you know, they're, there's a... You know, uh, they're doing groceries, they're going to work, they're meeting with friends, everything seems normal. But inside there's some crazy stuff going on and there's an overwhelming amount of rage and nobody can tell from the outside that this storm is brewing inside this person. Nowadays we see crazy things in the news, right? He was such a normal guy, I don't know what happened. I don't know why he picked up a machine gun and, you know, went crazy in the movie theater or went crazy in the college campus or whatever else. But it's not even to the extreme where you end up going on a killing rampage. Even inside of your family, sometimes there's somebody who all of a sudden erupts. And you're like, wait, you, you were never like that. What happened to you? What bug bit you today? Well, you didn't see it because it was brewing inside for many, many, many years sometimes. And they were holding it in and holding it in and holding it in. And there was no way to let it out. And eventually it just comes out and it comes out far too, far too much. By the way, when it does come out, then it's ghadab. When it does release, that's ghadab. If you're, if you're able to hold it in and contain it, and it's boiling on the inside, but nobody knows on the outside, that is still ghayd. And I want to start off with, for the most part, the companions of the Prophet you know, they, they, stood, they would stood a lot. I mean, they were insulted publicly, their messenger, who they love more than the, their own selves, was insulted.